Hey everyone, it's Vaughn Liddycote here, the founder of Ballroom Mastery. Quick question for you, how do you teach yourself how to ballroom or Latin dance? That is an awesome question, one I get frequently asked by students all over the world, and something of course that many people answer by coming to a studio. But if you can't come to a studio, if you don't know where to go, what the first thing is, or even if you are going to a studio currently, but you've just started out, you don't know what to focus on, let me help you. So, if this video is of interest to you, please keep watching, please tag and share it, like it with a friend, and let me know if this is more content you'd like to know more about. Okay, so, how do you teach yourself to ballroom dance? So I'm gonna assume, first of all, a couple of things. Uh, the main thing is that primarily, you wanna learn by teaching yourself online. All right, that's a space that I play in a lot. I've got a YouTube channel dedicated to helping you master the art of ballroom and Latin dancing. But you know, there's so much information, right? It's like information overload. It's so crazy, you know, there's so much going on. There's also a bit of misinformation, like bad technique. But one of the problems is by watching it, you at least get the concept of what to do. But that's not enough. This is the problem with watching things is that you think, well, I can do that. I'll just copy it. Yes, that can work to an extent. And there's been some great in the world of ballroom and Latin dance, dancing uh, called dance sport competition, there's been some great success stories of people who've started that way by teaching themselves off videos. But you've gotta know what you're looking for. If you have no previous dance experience, well, let me share what to focus on. The very first foundational element to get right is footwork. So footwork is heels and toes, baby, heels and toes. It's like what part of the foot is in contact with the floor. So what you want to avoid, for example, if you're learning the waltz, is pushing your foot flat through the floor. You need to focus on using the correct heel and then the correct use of the toe. So that would help create the beautiful, what we call rising, rising movement of waltz. So heels and toes. In Latin, you would want to focus on, you know, for example, how to turn your feet out, but of course pushing the ball of the foot through the floor so you can create a beautiful movement forward and backward. So things like this you rarely see within a video. You'll see a demonstration, you'll see the routine, so to speak, you'll see it dance to music, but it'd be like, what do I focus on first? It's always the feet, right? So if you wanna teach yourself how to board dance, you use your feet, ho ho, right? That's where most people like blank out. They start going, oh my God, it's too much information. Not really, because it's like any artist, you know, like if you were to play music, you need a guitar, you need some strings up on that guitar, and you need to know a few basic chords and scales, and then you can start playing, right? Born dancing is the exact same. There's so much in dancing though, it can be overwhelming. So footwork first. The next thing I'll implore you to focus on is the timing of things. Now it might sound obvious, but if you're dancing off time, with the music, well, you're not really with the music, so you're not really dancing, not in our world anyway, not in ballroom dancing, not Latin American dancing, okay? So we're not getting into the aesthetics of dancing right now, like what does it mean to dance, et cetera, et cetera, is movement, is dancing, etc. It's more about understanding that the technique of ballroom dancing is your footwork and timing together equals being on time with the music, which means it's musical, which means you can feel it better, you can connect better, you can f have that emotion and that beautiful uh, oneness with your partner ultimately, and that feeling uh, coming through that enjoys, I suppose, the music more. So we've got our footwork going, heels, toes correctly, and we're starting to get that happening. We've got our timing, you're gonna feel more musical, that's awesome. Well, the sort of cherry on top with where you focus in the beginning of how you teach yourself to dance is also posture. Posture is so, so important and here's why. If you only focus on footwork with heels and toes, but you're, you're hunching, right? You're dancing like, like a grandpa, you know, you got all that going on. Yeah, your posture is gonna affect your movement. And the reason for that is just, if you hold your belly button like this for a minute, put your feet apart and you pull your center of gravity like that, you'll notice that you fall over, why? Well, because your center of gravity is now getting pulled towards the center of the earth, and so you're gonna fall down. If you collapse your body and you create a movement with poor posture, your balance is affected. And because your balance is affected, you can't execute your footwork or your timing. So you really need to focus on those three elements to begin with, footwork, timing, posture. Now I've been teaching ballroom dancing for over 10 years, running a dance studio for 10, over 10 years, teaching online for almost 10 years, okay? I, I've, we've got a studio with thousands of students who've come through it. We've run hundreds of metal exams successfully at highly, highly commended or honors level and above. 
champion dancing ourselves. We've done lots of things. The reason I'm saying that is there's definitely things to focus on when you first start and things to leave out. So the detail of what your movements are, how to really create arm styling, beautiful pictures, is something you do once you understand the foundations of your movement. So if you know your footwork timing and posture, consider that the bottom level of your pyramid and you've got a good foundation to then build upon to get things like, I suppose, uh, move uh, flight, right? Like how to actually create a movement. So example in ballroom dancing, if you're creating the waltz and you're learning that and you're focusing on the feet, you'll notice you only step your movements when you first start. So you might be using good heels and toes, but now your knees are popping up and you notice, oh my God, these are things are happening. So after you have that foundation, you then learn to move that footwork, right? So that's movement. We call this mechanics. And so by doing that, you can start to create much nicer, softer swing. But we can't do that without the good feet. In fact, if your feet are not musical, you really are going to have trouble dancing. So how do you teach yourself to dance, especially online? You focus on the footwork, you focus on the timing, and you focus on the posture. And with all of those three coming together, you'll have balance, you'll have ease of movement, and you'll have something to really focus on to master and build good habits from the beginning. Now, if this is something you've liked, well, please let me know. I'm happy to share a bit more content with you. I'm happy to send you what I believe is the content to follow and focus on within our YouTube channel. But for now, I really want you to just enjoy this content, to think about what you need to do going forward, and leave me a comment below about what will help you to perfect your dancing, to make it better, and what stage of dancing you're also at, so I can make videos to help you a little bit more. This is Vaughn, thank you for being here, and I'll see you in the next lesson.